So guys, to start off with, you want to pick up this brush called Soft Airbrush and I would suggest you to keep the size of it up to 6.3. Now it also does depends on the size of the portrait that you are painting. So yeah, but for now, let's just keep it 6.3 if you are just practicing. And keep the opacity up to max now the first step is as you can see as you guys can see i already have an eyebrow right here uh, now this one i made just understand how these brushes work on sketchbook so i do have videos on how to um, draw eyebrows on procreate but they are a lot different from the one that i'm making today because of the brushes so you want to create this new layer right here now this is going to be our base layer now in this layer you want to start creating these little strokes and you want to create the shape of the eyebrows just by these strokes now do not worry about uh, these strokes being perfect you know we're just creating the basic shape of the eyebrow by creating these strokes so that's what we are doing and Try and add some more strokes here and there. Now the key here to create strokes is just put light pressure onto the screen and uh, yeah, just create the strokes in a go, like in one go. Now once you have that basic shape created, the shape that you like, then you just pick up this brush called Colorless Soft Brush now you want to just increase the size of the brush a little bit also just see all the settings that i have on this brush so so that you guys uh, can get clear on the brush settings now what you want to do is just decrease like you want a medium sized brush and then just blend all of these strokes out this is just going to create a base for the eyebrow that we're creating a light base so that's what i'm doing here now these techniques totally differ from the one i um, did on the procreate app obviously because of the brushes uh, that procreate has and yes so that's what i'm doing here just try and blend the strokes as well as much as you can but just make sure you're not completely disappearing them so just go ahead and blend 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 not even blend like this tool is amazing i love this tool as you can see we have this base ready for the eyebrow and yeah once you have that just create a new layer just above it now you want to create the real strokes that we are not going to be blending out sorry for that stroke so yeah now to start creating the strokes, make sure you are creating dark strokes on the arch of the eyebrow and lighter ones on the starting point of the eyebrows, if that makes any sense. So just do that or what you can do is just go ahead with the light, lighter strokes first and then just start adding more strokes later on. Now that's what I do and that's I would suggest you guys to do as well. So that's what I'm doing here and do not make or do not create long strokes just focus on creating lighter and shorter strokes first like so and also on the tail of the eyebrow now once i have all of these strokes ready with me you can actually decrease the size of the brush a little bit more if you want to but i think it is perfect at this point now i'm just adding more strokes um on the arch of the eyebrow as you can see now to make if you want to make the eyebrows stroke thinner and crispier then you can just reduce the size of the brush and yeah but i like it this way it actually totally depends on you so here i'm just adding more and more strokes on the arch of the eyebrow as you can see just to make it just to make the arch look darker as you guys can see it is already looking natural and realistic 
but on the second layer of the strokes you want to create longer longer strokes and make sure you're not adding too much on the starting point of the eyebrow also to make it look much more natural you can add some of the hairs right underneath the eyebrow just to make it look very undone but if you want your eyebrow to look more precise then you can avoid doing this step now you can actually stop here it looks perfectly fine but I like to do one additional step so what you want to do next is if you like it this way you can stop right here it looks perfect it looks natural it looks realistic but if you do not like it this way just go ahead and create a new layer just between the two layers that we already have pick up this brush called airbrush and make sure the size of the brush is enough to cover the whole eyebrow and just add this bit of color on the arch of the eyebrow and then just pick up your colorless brush again increase the size of the brush now the size of the brush depends on the size of the eyebrow and just spread this color all over the brows now once you when you are spreading the color you want to make sure that the arch of the eyebrow is darker than the front part of it so that's what I'm doing here as you can see the front part of the eyebrow looks so light now once you're happy with that you can stop it right here or just pick up your eraser and clean it up a little bit from the sides as you can see right here you can do it the same from the bottom of the eyebrow as well it's that and sometimes I go ahead and pick up the same um, soft hair brush and decrease the size of it and I add more hair over the eyebrow okay this was a little too dark like this now this time I'm adding thinner hair strokes like that looks perfectly fine looks natural realistic adding more hair in different part of the eyebrow as well now if you want to add highlights to your to the eyebrows just create a new layer and again just make sure you have the similar brush soft air brush pick up white color and just add highlights in the direction of the eyebrows like this and I'm not gonna take pure white color and I'm just gonna add it over it like that now this is not really necessary but it looks good and sometimes I go back in with the colorless brush just to make sure it doesn't look so harsh like that and you have perfect eyebrow and once you're happy with the eyebrows you can just merge down the layers all together or maybe I'm thinking to just remove the highlight and here you have it and the highlights are totally up to you so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's mini tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel support my channel it really helps me and really motivates me to create good content for you guys and yeah i will see you guys the next time